by Shaba. Kasike is back with his weekly Bullet Hell Horde survival game, and today I want to introduce you into Bonewiser Minions. Kasike. When I started this game the first time, I was a bit confused and surprised about the old school entertaining English. For that reason, I made my mission to give you a guide for your first steps. In Bone Razor Minions, you are moving inside a pixel art aesthetic and sound around with a tiny necromancer. But you don't have weapons. Your weapons are your army, which you could see during a run. That means also that you aren't aiming or shooting and fighting like in auto battler games with your units. But you can't stand still. You must move, collect bones and taking care of your health. The first map is a simple rectangular graveyard and on your side is a single skeleton minion. You fight against the waves and fantasy creatures and you must collect their bones. Hurry up, you need 100 bones to bone raise another minion or upgrade an existing one. There are several game modes which keeps the game fresh. In daily or weekly challenges you can improve and compete against other bone racers and the online leaderboard is challenging. If you're witches, bombers, skeleton archers and many more, you try to survive as long as you can until you and your army eventually get over one. Runs are fast and there's always action which makes the game addicting and exciting. But now, let's get into it! In this game you have different game modes which you must unlock during your progression. You start with three modes. Mausoleum Awakening. This is the standard mode where you are starting to play your runs. Meta Progression. Buy new unlocks to improve your run. Use your collected coins to increase your abilities and bone raising powers. Find your perfect meta loadout. Grimmore Compendium. There you can view your high scores, items and so on. All other game modes you must unlock and more I will show you in further videos about these games. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see a tiny video series about the Bone Razor Minions adventure. And here we go with the first tip. Check your configuration. To avoid or decrease your confusion, I would like to suggest that you that you are entering the setup at first. There you can change the old English talk like in a time from Shakespeare to a modern one. This is especially for non-native speakers like me more easier to understand. But that's not all. Proof the visibility of your necromancer and the hoarders. With that huge amount of units it can be become very confusing. Who is in my army and who is aiming for me? I suggest you to give yourself and the enemies an outline. I choose the color yellow for me and red for all the enemies. That makes it much more easier to handle the confusion. The first rounds you won't be able to survive long. But with this few hints you improve fast. After you appear, collect the bones as fast as you can. Because they are disappearing. Like you know already, you need 100 bones for an improvement. Therefore, every bone is counting. Why? Every upgrade at the beginning of a run is very important and helpful. The faster you can bring down the coming waves, the more bones you can pick up and the more you will improve. After a few runs, you will have a few gold coins and you should go into the bone race lore to spend your gold into new talents and more. My recommendations are in the following order. Dabber Dash. This allows you to dash. Whether with mouse, keyboard or controller, the game can be played with your preferred option. Dashes makes one more viable. The third and the last option of improving the Dabber Dash offers you a Super Dash. Cracked Hour Class. With this feature, all pickups stay longer. Upgrade this one fast to the last level and no pickup will ever fade away. Magico Mal Parchment. This gives you the option to spell casts. More about spelling casts in one of the next videos, if you wish. Boned Barrows. You may gain a barrow boner when rising a fresh normal minion. You can earn much more abilities and if you upgrade them, they will be obviously stronger. Stay away from the heroic force until you feel strong enough. You pay for boost the enemies, but the extra resources will raise bone legends. The third option is the class heritage. Tormented souls can be spent here to learn fresh talents for your chosen character class. The game is very generous with its currency which makes it in the initial grind easy and fun. Don't worry, you don't need to spend too much time before you are getting massive setups. 